Hello everybody and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In this video, we'll be learning the order of operations. But before you want to run away, I know it can be intimidating and it can seem hard at times. But this video will break it down step by step in which order you should do operations and you will have a lot of practice. And we will start with easier questions and work our way to harder questions. So when I'm busy with operations, I like to use Botmas to help and guide me to know in which order I should complete the operations. So what does Botmas stand for? Maybe you've heard of it or maybe this is the first time you're hearing about it. Let's have a look. B is for brackets, O for orders, D for divide, M for multiply, A for add and S for subtract. So this will be the order in which you complete operations. But when you have division and multiplication, or when you have addition and subtraction, you will do those from left to right. So it doesn't matter in which order division and multiplication is. If you have those two, you do it from left to right. And the same counts for addition and subtraction. So now let's look at the first example. Let's start with an easy example. In this example, we only have addition and subtraction. And we know when we have addition and subtraction together, we go from left to right. So first we're going to add, so 5 plus 10 is 15, and then we'll subtract. 15 minus 7 is 8. Now let's look at the next example. In this example, we have multiplication and division. And it doesn't matter in which order they are. We know when we have them both, we go from left to right. So first, we'll multiply. 3 times 4 is 12. And then we'll divide by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Let's look at another example. This one is a bit more advanced. Now we have addition and division. When we have division and addition, we'll divide first and then we'll add. So we're not adding yet. So we just write down the 4 as it is. We're not touching the 4 yet. And then we're first dividing. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. Now that we've divided, we can add. 4 plus 2 is 6. Now let's have a look at this example. We have multiplication and division and we have subtraction. So we will divide and multiply first before we subtract. And in which order do we divide and multiply? We start at the left and we go right. So in this case, multiply is first, so 3 times 2 is 6. We don't subtract it and now we're going to divide. So we write down the 6 and the minus, we're not subtracting it and we're dividing. 12 divided by 6, that will be 2. And now that we've multiplied and we've divided, now we may subtract. So 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Okay, now it's getting more advanced. What will you do here? Here we have brackets, we have division and multiplication, and we have subtraction. So what's the first thing we're doing? We are doing brackets first. So it doesn't matter that it's a subtraction inside the brackets. We will do that first because we do brackets first. So we write down the three times because we're not touching that yet. Then we're doing the brackets. So 24 minus 12 is 12. And then we write down the divide by six. So now we only have multiplication and division. And we know when we have them both, we go from left to right. So the first thing we're going to say is 3 times 12, that is 36. And now we're going to divide by 6. And 36 divided by 6 
is 6. Now let's have a look at this one. It seems more intimidating, but if you know your rules, if you know the order of operations, and you do it step by step, you will see it's actually really easy. So what do we have here? We have brackets, we have division and multiplication, we have addition and subtraction. But what's the first thing we do? Brackets. So we write down the six and the divide, we're not touching that yet. Now we're doing the brackets. So five minus two is three. And then I just write down everything else because we did the brackets first. Now what do we have? We have division, multiplication and addition. So we know addition will be lost. So we'll divide and multiply first from left to right. So first off, we have six divided by three. That is two. And now we're going to multiply two times five is 10 and now we're going to add 10 plus 2 is 12. Let's have a look at this one. Now we have brackets but we have two operations inside the brackets but it's not going to bring us down because we know our order of operations. So let's have a look. We have brackets, we have division and multiplication we have addition and subtraction the first thing we do is we write down the 10 minus because we're not touching that yet we do the brackets first now when we look inside the brackets we have addition and we have multiplication which one of those are first yes the multiplication so we don't add yet we leave the brackets and we do the multiplication first. So two times two is four, and we close the brackets again and write down the rest of our sum. Now let's finish the brackets. We write down the 10 minus because we can't touch that yet. Now we're completing the brackets. Four plus four is eight. There's nothing else inside the bracket, so we only add, and then we're going to divide by two. So we've just made this a lot easier. You know that division is before subtraction. So let's do that. We write down 10 minus because subtraction is lost. And we're going to divide. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And now we can subtract. 10 minus 4 is 6. And finally, let's look at this example. We won't let this scare or intimidate us because we know step by step what to do. Now what do we have? We have brackets, we have orders, we have division and multiplication, we have addition and subtraction. So we have all of them. Now let's do this step by step and you'll see how easy this is. So the first thing we need to do is take care of the brackets. The first thing we do is brackets. So we write down everything exactly as it is and we only do the brackets. So 8 plus 2 to the power of 2 divide. Now we get the answer for the brackets. 6 minus 2 is 4 and then we copy down the rest times 2 plus 5. So now we did the brackets. So now we move on to the next thing. The next thing is orders. We have two to the power of two. So now we'll do that. So we write down eight plus. What is two to the power of two? Two times two is four. And then we copy down everything else exactly as it is. Divide by four times two plus five. It looks difficult in the beginning, but if you do it step by step, it's actually really simple. Now what do we have? We still have addition, we still have division and multiplication. So what do we do first? Division and multiplication from left to right. So we leave the 8 plus, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and then we write on everything times 2 plus 5. Now we're doing the multiplication. So we write down 8 plus, 1 times 2 is 
2 and we copy down plus 5. So now the only thing we have left is addition. So 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 5 is 15. And just in a few moments and in a few examples, you know how to do operations in the correct order. If you want to practice this some more and you want some notes, you can find a link in the description box below where you can go and download the exercise with the memo and the notes. And just before you go, please remember to like this video if it was helpful to you and also to subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.